So I'm coming to you live from the castle and definitely in real life time because I have had a hat on all day and keeping myself nice and warm. I probably barely have any makeup on, but you know what? I just got to thinking about a couple of lessons that I've put into play as I've finished decorating my beautiful Christmas tree in my fireplace room, which I call my Sunday room because I'm usually only in here on Sundays, sometimes Saturday nights like it is tonight. So you know how, well, if you've been around me at all, one of my favorite things to say is, oh my gosh, I know it's going to be hard, but you know what? It's, I know it's a lot of work, but work like an ant. And you probably get sick of hearing me say, work like an ant, one grain of sand at a time. And pretty soon your ant city, your ant farm, your ant hill will be built. It's just one grain of sand at a time. And so tonight I thought, you know, I'm going to go get my tree out. Oh, but it's so heavy. Oh, it is so heavy. Oh, well, I want my tree up. I'm going to go out in the garage and I'm going to open that box. And I carried one piece in at a time. And then I popped it up. I put one piece into the other, into the other, and dropped down the branches. And you touch it with your toe and it comes on. And then you can have it in any color that you want. So you can make it multicolored and then you can have it clear. You can make it flash. You can do all kinds of things. So it's magic. But I want you to see it. If I can get it wrapped around here. That's my tree so far. Okay. Because here's the deal. I wasn't really going to do this tonight. And I thought, okay, well, you can sit around and play Scrabble by yourself. You can watch some more Hallmark movies. Uh, hopefully there's some that you haven't seen. Or let's get the tree up. It would be about Thanksgiving. So that's what I did. And I thought, at least just get the tree up and turn the lights on. Because tomorrow when you come downstairs, you set the timer, it will be on. It'll be so pretty. And then I thought, you know, my ornaments are going to look so pretty on this tree. So I ran out to the garage, carried in the big boxes of ornaments that I know I didn't bring out last year. And, you know, some, sometimes there, there are times when you just can't do it. But, you know, I, I have friends who say, well, I'm not going to put up a tree because I'm by myself and what does it matter? I have put up many trees being by myself and it's for me. And it's for all the people that come here. And so, more than anything, I wanted a tree to be pretty in my castle for me. So, I started adding an ornament. And then I found another pretty ornament. And I put that up. Then I found another one and another one and another one. And pretty soon, all the ornaments were on. And then I thought, I want to put those pretty burgundy beads on. And so, I put those on as a little peplum right at the bottom of the tree. And then I thought, okay, so how did this all come together? People often ask, how does one stay motivated? How does one even get motivated? If you are in the depths and you don't want to do anything, how have you stayed motivated for 33 years? When no one even tells you what to do or no one checks in to see if you're doing anything? Okay, well, here's the deal. I started thinking about what this tree would look like when I got it up. How pretty it would be with the burgundy ornaments and all the special ones that I've gotten from other people. And so I started thinking about the finished product and that's, that's how we do what we do. That's how we get motivated. We think, okay, gosh, wouldn't it be sweet to put $5,000 in my family's account? Or wouldn't it be fun to be able to drive a free car? Whatever it is that you're wanting to get, you have to focus on the end result and take one step towards it. I always think about someone painting a house. 
like painting my castle and I think, okay, I would have to get up, throw my paint clothes on, grab the paint, run out as fast as I could, throw on a big paint swatch, and then I'd go, wow, that is so pretty. I'm gonna keep going. And I would keep brushing and brushing and rolling and brushing and rolling, and pretty soon it would be painted. So that's action comes before motivation. You have to do something first. So I went out, I grabbed the tree, I put it up, I started putting an ornament on, then I put another one and another one. And so don't think you're just going to get motivated to do anything because you're not. So just act, keep moving, start something, move one grain of sand at a time, and pretty soon your finished product will be in front of you. And it's worth it. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below so we can get together again. Thanks. Bye-bye.